Welcome guys to another match preview of Posh versus Burton Albion. So the unthinkable has happened. We've made it to the last game of the season, everything to play for for the playoffs, the last playoff position. If we win on Saturday, 5.30 p.m. kickoff, we go up depending if Doncaster draw or lose. If Doncaster win and we win, we not go up unless we get 16 goals past Burton Albion, which is not going to happen. Now, so my starting lineup. Actually, no, my score. My score first. My score for Posh is going to be a 4 1 victory. I think they're going to go for it. You're going to have the big fans behind you. You're going to have like 10,000 Posh fans behind you on this game because it's everything to play for. Well, hopefully 10,000. That's what I think it's going to be. Um, yeah, in general, I think it's going to be a, a big crowd. It's going to spur the lads on. And we're going to come in 4 1. Now, my lineup. I'm going to go with the same lineup as before. As the last game, similar to last game actually. So I'm going to go 4 4 2 sort of lineup like I said last time with the two defensive midfielders in the, in the thing. So with a, a full 4 at the back, a full 4 across, and 2 at front. Now, my starting lineup for the posh on Saturday will be in goal number one. Oh, I don't do, do numbers actually. 4 4 2 Chapman in goal. Nay Smith at right back. Josh White at centre back. Ryan Tavazzoli, if he's, if he's 100% feeling fit. Now, he had almost was in pain with his knee injury apparently last night. Um, if he's injured, I'll put Bennett on the uh, centre back position. If not, Tafazoli is going to be there. Right next to Tafazoli and White at left back, Lafferty. Left wing. I'm going to put Dembele there. I think I think Dembele. Dembele had a good game when he came on last night. Ward did really well as well, but I'm going to swap positions. So Ward's going to come on the bench, and Dembele's going to swap with him from the bench to the starting lineup on the left wing. Next to him, Alex Woodyard, the captain. Next to him in the midfield, Josh Knight. Played really well last night. The fact that all the players played really well last night. Um, next On the right wing, of course, the magic man, Marcus Madison. Three assists against Portsmouth. What can he do? He's, he's bound to get a move in the way in the summer, though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But at the moment, he's our player. So he's going on the right wing. And up front, I'm going to put Lee Tomlin and Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony and Lee Tomlin worked really well last night. And they both scored. Yeah, Tomlin got one and Tony got two. On the bench, Conor O'Malley. Uh, ben, if he's if Tafasoli's free. If not, then let's swap the other way around, maybe. Denton, who's not been used. Uh, Callum Cook, Joe Ward, Matt Godden, Harrison Burrows. That's the guy I was on about the other day, the 16 year old guy. Harrison Burrows, will he make his debut? Signed a, con signed a professional contract a few weeks ago with us um, at 16 years old. Good player, McCann liked him for Don when he was R, so Doncaster might make a bid for him in the summer. Hey, Doncaster fans are watching this. Anyway, that's my end of the video, and I'll see you in the next video. After, maybe for a match reaction, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure when I'll do the match reaction. But hopefully, Posh will get in the playoffs. Also, a big shout out to. Um, people that have done YouTube in years and that are doing YouTube for Posh. Um, so Adam Darkin, his name is in real life. I don't know what his channel was. He watches my videos. So shout out to you. Shout out to Zach Gamer. Um, he does videos in the family stand. 
Shout out to Devin Walwyn who did the London Marathon. Shout out to um, yeah, Callum Dolby and Carl PSD. Everyone that does vlogs, I love the vlogs. So anyone else you recommend shouting out next time, then drop in the comments. All right, bye guys.